Evening all, Remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And we've got an accessory from our friends over at AMVR, and they've sent me the auto-magnetic charging stand for Oculus Go. So let's check it out. At the moment, for my Oculus Go, I keep it on what is actually another AMVR stand. So it's this kind of headset stand here. Uh, you just literally sort of slot your headset on the top, and then usually, I've been using this cable for other stuff at the moment, but this little magnetic charging cable that just kind of magnetically charges and attaches onto there, and then it feeds in through there off to your sort of uh, charger. So this stand is similar to this, this new stand, but it's not a big, massive, huge stand. It's something a bit more sort of 3D printed, I believe. So let's have a little look inside to see what you get in the box. So you get your warranty card, you get your uh, installation guide, you get some eye stickers, Let's have a little look, see what eye stickers we get in this one. It's nice to get these for free. Uh, what have we got? Blue eyes and brown eyes. I've already got the uh, blue eyes one on this headset here. It's a sort of transparent sticker, so it fits on nice and cleanly. You've got some, uh, what's this, little sort of padded stickers. And we've got all sorts of bits. There's some little rods, all these little 3D printer bits, along with a magnetic charging cable which is nice I do like these magnetic charging cables so I'm actually quite pleased I've got another one here <laughs> so let's go through the kind of quick installation guide here and put this all together so here's all the bits that you get in the package it's pretty straightforward to put together you can see a picture of it here so the side with the cable goes on the right hand side facing forward the uh, bit with a little sort of charging bit just slots into this bit here so that you've got little holes in the bottom to plug straight in then you just attach your little poles so pole pole and pole and then the same on the other side you just plug them all in and nice and snug give it a little squeeze make sure it all goes in nicely there we go there we go all in and you'd then plug this into your normal USB charger and then you've got a micro USB thing here whereas on my sort of actual Oculus Go actually we'll put it on this one so I'll plug it into my work one there we go and then it's just a case of popping your headset on so it just literally kind of rests on on there no kind of sticking on or anything like that rests on and then the little magnetic USB just plug straight in like that and then you've got your headset charged on its little base You've got a little sort of screw here if you kind of want to sort of give this a bit more slack, uh, you can do. Um, but overall, it works quite well. So, and then if you want to take your headset, you just kind of drag it off, and away you go. And there you go. Look, actually, look, if you kind of put it in heading towards the power cable, then you can just rest it straight on and you're sorted. So, you don't even need to have a second hand. What they do have is a slot here for your controller. So, you can pop your controller in here, just pop it down like that sorted so you've got a nice little place to put it so if you've got somewhere on your side like a nice flat side you don't want to kind of a high stand like this one because there is a fair bit of sort of height difference in uh, doing that one or that one uh, it's quite nice to have this what they have put in here as well is some sort of little sticky pads uh, so some replacement pads for these bits so as you can kind of see here there's some little sort of sticky pads that kind of cushion your oculus go when it sits um, but they've also included some sticky pads so like here if you've got this on a side and you're sort of picking your Oculus Go up, it's going to go with it. So find a nice little bit of side, nice little bit of wood or something, peel that sticker off, stick that to the table. And then whenever you kind of put this on or off, it's going to stay exactly where it is. And you've got some spare um, sticky pads and stuff in here to use if you kind of want to have more than one different location or you move it or whatever you want to do sort of thing. So. That's a nice little stand, and I think I looked on Amazon.com. Uh, I couldn't find it at the moment, but on .co.uk, it is on there for, I think, £26. So that's not bad. I'd say it's maybe a little bit on the higher price side, but then saying that this cable is quite nice. It's a nice braided cable. I've been using the one that came with this stand for a while. Um, I've had no issues with charging. I actually use it pretty much solely plugged into this headset now, so... Um, it's going to be kept in this one, and now I can easily swap between the two different uh, headsets that I want to put on uh, this stand. Now I'll just go dunk, and away we go. Uh, I do have the VR cover strap on here, 
and there's the VR cover sort of cover on this headset. But on this headset, just like my video the other day, if you haven't seen it, this is the uh, AMVR uh, glasses facial cover. So you can see there's like a, a little divot for your glasses. So go check that video out if you haven't already. This isn't a sponsored video. Um, Eason over on uh, over from AMVR sent these to me for free, but with no obligation for a good review or anything like that, he just wanted me to show them off. And I think it's a nice little accessory. Uh, works quite well, nice and simple. I mean, it's 3D printed. I don't know if you can maybe get hold of these designs yourself. Mm, I wouldn't have thought so. But check, make sure you show Eason some love, AMVR there. It's nice that they're sort of, uh, pushing this sort of thing forward, give us some more sort of accessory options. So as I say, make sure you check them out if you can. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it, but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it, try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out, have a virtual high five. Woo.